These are some Dinar Guru updates from Militia Man, Mark Z, Pimpy, and a Dinar Guru news update. Okay, Mark Z via PDK. An exceptionally quiet weekend with very little news, especially on the banking front. In Iraq this morning, no measurable movement. Looking like RV after the election. I'm starting to feel that way. I was expecting a whole lot to happen this weekend, and that did not. Seven days and 14 hours until Election Day. If I hear anything worth sharing, I will. But at this point, I'm not anticipating anything earth-shattering. Okay, from Pimpy article, quote, Al-Kazimi spokesman, more than 25 officials are behind bars. Al-Kazimi is no joke. When he is draining the Iraqi swamp, he is draining the swamp. Quote, 25 officials, in addition to the corrupt whales, super wealthy individuals, are under bars, and under investigation during the first two months of al Qazimi's government. This is what I'm talking about, man. These Making these kind of moves. Let's show the world what you're capable of handling the corruption. I love this news. This is going to look really good in the eyes of the international community. al Qazimi seems to be the man of the people, and I love to see that. I want to make a point about the Iraqi dinar. Once these nations all sign these agreements, peace agreements, there's these new trade agreements that are coming, BTW in which they can all do business with one another. They will bring a lot of business very quickly into Iraq as well as surrounding nations, but especially in Iraq. Iraq is the hub into the Middle East. Other countries are going to be investing money into rebuilding Iraq. It's starting from scratch. This is going to bring a lot of jobs there. This is great news for both short-term and long-term when it comes to Iraqi dinar. I noticed there are people that are getting restless, and these people are the new people. What I meant by that is they haven't been holding the Iraqi dinar for about a year, and they're complaining already. I tell you, there's people that have been in this game 15, 16 years, all right? You can't get frustrated. All you can do is keep an eye on it. There's been more positive news, in my opinion, in 2020 than we've seen in a long time that I could remember. Stay positive. There's some other good news coming. I'm anticipating that going to happen this week. Okay, and the Dinar Guru news update. The United States and the Trump team negotiated another peace agreement in the Middle East. Sudan is the third country to do so in the last four weeks. They've signed the Abraham Peace Accord with Israel several days ago. This is huge news. The United Arab Emirates, Bahrain, and Sudan are the first Arab nations to normalize relations with Israel in over 25 years. They join Jordan and Egypt. Security and stability is sweeping across the region. At least six more nations are expected to join the accord. The gurus suspect Iraq could be one of them. Stay tuned as the story unfolds. The latest guru posts will continue. 